tonight and tomorrow and, and get a chance to meet with our players tomorrow. There'll be a lot of things that, that we want to correct, but I thought after you know eight mo plus months of investment, our, our, our kids came out. They they played with passion. They played with great energy. Played hard from snap to whistle, um, and uh, and competed in a really good way. So proud of what they did, and, and uh, obviously the the injury to Bam, um, extremely disappointed for him, and. Um, you know, we'll check in on him here uh, immediately after the game, and, and uh, players and, and coaches all need to get around him. Um, not a better kid in our, in our program, and I uh, just uh, hate it for him. So, with that, I'll open it up for questions. <coughs> At that point in the game, why were a lot of defensive still Yeah, just uh, there was a play count that we had, had talked about getting to, and, and um, um, uh, obviously, uh, when that happens, uh, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. So, um, Hate it for him and, and uh, just, uh, just devastating for him. You know what I mean? There's love that kid. Uh, I thought all of them did a ton of positive things. I thought they managed the you know the, the snap to whistle um, pretty well. Uh, there's a couple of things that. You know, uh, Brandon and Dylan uh, early in the ball game would want to have back. You know, a couple of overthrows uh, where we got wide receivers down the open down the middle of the field. And, you know, ball comes out of Brandon's hand out the back end the one time. Uh, we got guys open down the middle, but uh, I, I thought they handled you know snap to whistle really well. But I thought they they handled the uh, the operation of playing with tempo pretty well as well for the first time. Both of those guys being out there, I thought our guys up front did a good job in protection run game. Um, the three running backs did a phenomenal job of, of pressing line of scrimmage, making people miss, and obviously our guys outside made a bunch of plays. Any coach that you think uh, you saw that you needed? Uh, there's going to be a bunch of things. Uh, you know, uh, defensively, so many positive, uh, contested, um, you know, almost every throw. I thought we uh, changed the line of scrimmage, played on the other side of the line of scrimmage, got after the quarterback, uh, created some negative plays, tackles for loss. Uh, I thought we tackled, and, you know, for an open uh, fairly well in the, in the open field. Um, offensively, there's going to be a ton of little things that, uh, that we're going to need to work on, just timing uh, wide receivers and quarterbacks. A couple times, quarterback got tripped up with the running back's path as we're throwing some perimeter screens. And, uh, you know, some things we got to get cleaned up there. I thought you know, a couple of things that, uh, that you can't do, just, you know, celebration penalties, were, you know, uh, in the end zone. A couple of them didn't get called. That uh, You know, those are things that you can't do, play smart football uh, if you're going to play championship caliber football. <coughs> Uh, you know, without watching the tape, I just you, you look at the tackles for loss, um, the hits on the quarterback. Uh, I thought they played in a really good way. I, I know Coach Burnham, Coach um, Coach Shannon will never be completely satisfied, but uh, I thought for their first time out, a lot of young guys, uh, some youth there. I thought they handled everything pretty well. Coach, the way you, you handled the quarterbacks with uh, Brandon doing a couple drives, Dylan coming in, do you see <coughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll continue to evaluate. Um, you know, I, I think um, I said it publicly that Dylan was going to play in, in the first first half. We had you know him pinpointed no matter how things were going that he was going to play on the fourth drive in this ball game. Um, you know, then we were able to give him another drive, uh, although it was pretty quick at, at the end of the second quarter. I, I thought you know for his first time out there, being a true freshman, he managed everything, handled it really well. Um, was a good decision maker, you know, on some of our run pass stuff and did a good job in the past game. So, uh, overall, pleased with what he did. Josh, how did you, uh, Otis Anderson obviously was kind of looking at everything on the, on the field tonight. Um, what did you see out of him? Did you see his role? Kind of uh, he did a little bit of everything because he's capable of it. Um, you know, did a phenomenal job in the punt return game. Uh, you know, at the end of last year, I thought he really did a good job in that role and, and made some plays that changed the game. Um, you know, punt return in the conference championship game. Um, you know, he's got the ability to play in the slot some. He's got the ability to do a phenomenal job at running back. Um, you know, and so just continuing to find ways to make sure that he's involved in what we're doing. Coach, uh, Gabe came out, established himself right away. And then uh, can you talk about his game and also his leadership as a top return receiver? <laughs> leadership as a what? I'm sorry. The, the top returning receiver. Um, you know, one, uh, Gabe's an, an absolute workhorse just in, in how he approaches every day. He's very focused on what he wants to accomplish, you know, individually. 
and um, he goes about that every single day. That's extra film time in the meeting room. It's, you know, they get done working out in the summer. He's the first guy back in the indoor catching balls out of the jugs. He's kind of spearheaded a group of guys that have started, you know, trying to emulate and act like a pro does, you know, and, and um, he's very consistent in his work habits as far as practice as well. The difference in Gabe from a year ago to today is just his willingness to take a, a leadership role. Um, I'm not, you know, sometimes young guys, and last year he was a true sophomore, um, finding their voice and being able to step, put themselves out there in a leadership role and not always being perfect, but, but commanding that and having that presence and communicating that way is something that guys grow into and, and really proud of what he's done, you know, the last half of, of the spring semester, our summer, and what he's done in training camp. Um, you know, our players in that room feel him all the time. Our players on offense and our entire football team feel his urgency as well. Coach, I know the competition is going to get tougher, but in hindsight, do you ask for more from quarterbacks running your offense in the um, first game? Yeah, I mean, you're always going to ask for more, right? I mean, that's, that's the reality of it. Um, you know, our players are excited about this one, and, uh, you know, you spend a lot of time preparing and, and uh, practicing to, to go out and perform in a positive way. They did that tonight. Uh, we know we got to continue to get better. Uh, the quarterback room's got to get better. The guys around them, you know, all three phases of the game. Uh, but they should enjoy this one tonight, right? This is one of 12 that, you, that you're promised. Uh, enjoy it, take advantage of it, and, and, uh, and be happy about what you did. Come back tomorrow ready to get better. Coach, you had to, you had to go through this. Uh, with you had to go through this last year with McKenzie. How is this team's closeness kind of <laughs> helps them in situations like this when they're trying to face this? I mean, there's a lot of guys that uh, are heartbroken in there. You know, there's, there's tears. They're, that's one of their brothers. And I'm not just talking about the defense side of the ball. I'm, I'm talking about our entire football team. There's a lot of people that are really passionate about, about BAM um, and a lot of our players. But uh, Bam, BAM's a, a special, special person, not just a special player. He is a special player, but he's a special person, too. And just what he's, he's come through in his life and how he's continued to grow, I'm really proud of him uh, for that. And, and um, you know, unfortunately, um, you know, he's got another mountain to climb right now, and, and uh, everybody on our football team is going to wrap their arms around him and help him through this journey. Coach, uh, there's a storm in the Atlantic that could potentially – there's, there's a storm in the Atlantic that could <laughs> potentially impact next week the state of Florida. What's the immediate plan for the team? And what Man, I'm gonna, I, I really try not to focus on it leading into to kickoff. Um, you know, our administration has been paying close attention to it. Um, I go shower and eat something maybe, and I'll uh, – get on the phone with those guys and, and we're going to formulate a plan for, for what we think is going to happen and, and um, make sure that we're taking care of our players, putting them in a positive situation. And um, if we can, then uh, get ourselves ready for, for a football game next week too. Coach, the first kickoff went out of bounds, but it seemed like after that, Obarski kind of settled yeah, in. The specialist didn't have necessarily a, a hot start. Uh, Obarski kicks the first one out of bounds, and I thought he came back and kicked the ball really well for most of the night. Had one more that w went out of bounds. Um, uh, you know, young guys probably going to do that, um, trying to overpower the football a little bit on that first one. Uh, I, thought, I thought he settled in. Um, Osteen did a good job. You know, the first one's a short punt on, on rugby. I thought he settled back in the rest of the night. Dylan did a phenomenal job, and Alex Ward was uh, steady at snapper, too. So um, proud of what they did. Not perfect, but uh, we're going to keep growing. Coach, uh, a couple things up. You said the defensive line play count. How close were they to meeting uh, the we're, standard? We're, we're getting pretty close. So. And then uh, with Bam out, who do you think needs to step up in that role and replace him? Uh, we'll have multiple guys that uh, are competing for that spot. You know, Tay Gown, Zamari Maxwell, guys that have played well through training camp. I right, appreciate it, guys.